On Friday, William and President Joe Biden held a private meeting at the John F. Kennedy Library to discuss climate change and mental health. The meeting was rather sudden after both teams, the Palace and the White House, discovered the overlap in the Prince and the President's calendar which would see them both in Boston at the same time. While William met with the President, the Princess of Wales embarked on a solo engagement at the Center of the Developing Child at Harvard University. The Wales's first visit to the United States in eight years has been overshadowed by a racism row at Buckingham Palace involving William's godmother, and the release of a teaser trailer of Harry and Meghan's docuseries with Netflix. The drama did not stop there, as protesters gathered at Boston Harbor to heckle the President and Prince William. The protesters accused the two men of being complicit in the exploitation of workers, as the pair greeted each other ahead of their private meeting. Prince William and the President met at Boston Harbor, Image, Getty, William and Kate visited Boston for three days to attend the Earthshot Prize Ceremony, Image, Getty. The President joked with William about his incorrect clothes for the cold as he asked the royal, where's your top coat, which received a chuckle from the coatless prince despite the cold and wind. William admired the view across the water saying, what a spectacular setting, as approximately 100 protesters gathered. The pair were heckled with shouts of F asterisk 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 the royal family, Joe Biden is a scab, and a quote used to mock Biden, let's go Brandon. The protesters waved placards about the Senate vote on Thursday which refused to give railway workers seven days of sick leave. Read more, Kate and William Dazzle as Earthshot Prize Ceremony kicks off the pair were met with protesters as a result of Biden's response to railworker strikes, image, Getty, the pair discussed Queen Elizabeth and the climate crisis, image, Getty. President Biden attempted to justify the decision which forced unions to accept an offer which had a lack of sick leave because it would prevent an economic disaster during the festive period. Organizer from Railroad Workers United, Nick Wurst, told the Daily Mail, in relation to the royal family the joke answer would be we kicked you guys out in 1776. I would say to Joe Biden and Prince William watch yourselves. Workers everywhere are getting the short stick and are looking to fight back in the US and the UK as well. The fight is not over. Another protester, Claire Baylor from the Independent Socialist Group said, Our message to Joe Biden and Prince William would be workers will defend our rights that we're not willing to back down in this fight against massive corporations. Don't miss, Australian Zoo releases clip after five lions escape enclosure, video, Charles and Ukraine First Lady open church as racism row erupts, reveal, bombs sent to Ukraine embassy in Spain and factory could be connected, insight, the president was keen to learn more about Earthshot finalist projects, image, Getty, trending she added that the president and the monarchy are complicit in the exploitation of workers in the UK and the US. Despite the complaints, a spokesperson from Kensington Palace said that the 30-minute conversation between William and Biden was warm, friendly and substantive discussion. The private meeting lasted about half an hour before William set off to begin the final arrangements for the Earthshot Prize ceremony later that day and the president attended a fundraiser for a Democratic candidate in the Senate runoff election in Georgia next week. The prince thanked Biden for attended Queen Elizabeth's funeral in September and the pair exchanged memories of the late monarch. The president was also reportedly keen to learn more about William's Earthshot Prize and the projects behind the 15 finalists.